What's happening, everybody? So I just got home from the gym and, uh, hold on. Man, I need a haircut. I'll be back later. What do you guys think? It's pretty clean. Looking good. All right, let's get into the discussion. So a few nights ago, I made a Periscope broadcast talking about how to recover after you binge. Well, I think a good place to start is talking about the binge. Usually it starts off with you, you're pretty hungry, you've eaten all your food for the day, or you've counted all your macros and you don't have any more food left to eat, but you're still pretty hungry. So you start thinking, you know, what if I just have one scoop of ice cream? I just want one scoop of ice cream, that way I can get rid of the craving and I can go about my night not being so miserable. You soon actually start to talk yourself into overeating. You, you, you rationalize reasons why it's totally okay. Oh well, you know, I've been doing pretty good on my diet so I think my body deserves a treat. You know, it's been a pretty long time and, and I haven't had ice cream for a while so this will be okay. So you go on over, you get you one scoop and you eat it and then you sit there like I want more. So you go get a few more scoops and a few more scoops and by the end of it you done ate the whole tub. At this point, well the dopamine that's rushing to your head, you're actually not too upset. But then you also think, man I've already messed up my diet, might as well order a pizza. Yeah, hey, how's it going? Um, let me get uh, one um, small pepperoni pizza, and uh, that's it. That's all I want. Yeah, just uh, one small pizza. You know, actually, let me let me get um, let, let me get like eight chicken wings. Yeah, eight barbecue, barbecue. Uh huh. Twelve, twelve, twelve barbecue. Yep, yep, with some ranch. Yeah, two ranch. Uh, the the cinnamon sticks. Yeah, 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 with the, with the dipping sauce, to, to, uh, um, like like three of them, three of the icings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me get like three of those, and that's it. Might as well make that pizza large. Thanks. So you've eaten a whole tub of ice cream, pizza, bread sticks, chicken wings, cinnamon sticks, icing, and you're contemplating what just happened. All right. Oh man. I'm going to sleep, but first I'm going to finish off this, uh, th this tub of peanut butter. Alright, before I do any more damage, I'm going to sleep right after I make some pancakes. And, and then I'm done. And then I'm done. I s I'm done. Alright, so finally after you decided that uh, you're finally done eating, which for me, I have to force myself to go to sleep. If I mess up, it is a garbage disposal and I will just eat everything. So you wake up the next morning. Here's a few things that are gonna happen in the morning. Number one, you're gonna feel really terrible. Like you're gonna, not not physically, well sometimes physically, but not always, but mainly mentally, you're just gonna start beating yourself up, wondering why you did it, wishing you didn't do it, wishing there was like a, a reset button to just go back in time and not do it, but there's not. And what's done is done. Personally, when I wake up, I am super hungry. Even after I just ate all that food, I'm so hungry. And that is a hard part to get over because all you're thinking is you've already screwed up your diet, so why not just screw it up for another day and another day. And sometimes one binge on one night can turn into weeks of backtracking. The next day you wake up, tell yourself, okay, I messed up. I messed up, but I'm going back on track. Do not starve yourself that next day thinking that it will equal it out. Nope. Like if you don't eat the next day, then you'll be okay. Do not do that because I guarantee you the following day, you're just gonna binge again. Do not go crazy on cardio the next day because it's pretty much the same thing as just starving yourself. You're going insane like on the treadmill running for your life trying to run away all the food that you eat. The best thing you can possibly do is pick yourself up, hold your head up high, 
and get back on the same grind you were the day before. Now, this does not mean that you can binge like three, four times a week, even more than twice. Even you really don't want to binge at all. The best thing you can do is give yourself a higher calorie day, but plan for it. Once a week, give yourself a little cheat meal. Personally, I like to have a refeed day where I just raise my carbs by about 100 to 150. That way, I know that every seven to nine days, if I have a refeed day, I am a lot less likely to binge because my body refuels what it needs and I don't feel terrible and just want ice cream and pizza. And I don't know why I continuously eat jars of peanut butter, but it is so good. It's peanut butter. Another thing that I like to do is the day after, if I mess up really bad, just because I'm so hungry and I know how I am, I like to kind of push my first meal back a little bit. I don't like to go straight into eating right away because since I'm so hungry, I already know my body doesn't need to eat right away. So I'll just push my meal back a little bit just so that I can get over that ridiculous hunger that I have in the morning. I let that dissipate to where at lunchtime I'm not obnoxiously hungry. Do not starve yourself the next day. Stop beating yourself up. You can't ruin everything you've done in one day. It doesn't work like that. Just get back on what you were doing Continue forward and continue making progress. Honestly, just treat it as your cheat day. You had an unplanned cheat day. That's all it was. And that's how I started looking at it. If, if I went a week and I never had a refeed day, but then the next day I kind of really messed up, I just say, all right, it was an unplanned cheat day, whatever. Three or four days later after a big binge, your weight goes back to normal. Yeah, the next day it's gonna skyrocket just from all the sodium and water weight that you just gained, but don't freak out about it. It's fine, it will go back to normal. You are not the only person that does this. I guarantee you, you are not the only person that has just eaten their entire kitchen in one night. It happens to all of us. Try your best to avoid it. Give yourself a refeed day, give yourself a cheat meal, fight the cravings off, but if it happens, it happens, and it happens to all of us. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you've ever binged like crazy, give it a thumbs up because I might have ordered pizza like three nights ago. My bad. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. It really helps me out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.